In this demonstration, we're going to see how we can model custom physical components using Simscape language. We wish to create a model of a spring whose stiffness is nonlinear. We're going to create this spring using the Simscape language. The component we create will look like this. You can see it has two physical ports representing the two mechanical connections for the spring. Here is a portion of the Simscape language source code, and you can see we have defined the stiffness using a lookup table. In looking at the code, we will see that the Simscape language is MATLAB based, it's object oriented for reuse, and can be used to define implicit equations, DAEs and ODEs. Here is a Simscape model that compares the behavior of a linear spring from the foundation library to a custom spring where the stiffness is defined as a lookup table. Looking at the parameters, we can see a single value for the spring rate in the foundation library spring and a lookup table where the stiffness varies with the displacement. Between the displacement of 0 and 0 0.4 millimeters, the stiffnesses are the same. Beyond 0 0.4 millimeters, the custom spring stiffness increases by a factor of 5. When we run the simulation, we can see how the springs behave. Each spring is subjected to the same input force at one second, and we can see that at, a, at deflections above 0 0.4 millimeters, the spring behavior differs. If we double click on the spring and click on the source code link, we can see the Simscape language source code that is used to define this component, including parameters, variables, and the equations themselves. We'll go through the Simscape language source code in more detail so that you can see how the component is defined. Here is the source code that defines our nonlinear spring. Our nonlinear spring component has two mechanical physical ports. Those are defined here. We reuse the domain definitions provided by Simscape for the mechanical domain. This makes sure that our Simscape component is compatible with the rest of the translational mechanical components in the foundation library. We could have also defined our own new physical domain if that were necessary for our system. We also use this file to define the user interface. Here you can see the parameters that we wish to enable users to modify. Those are defined here. In the Simscape language source code we define the parameters, the units, the default values, and the prompt that the user sees in order to define those values. In the next section we leverage MATLAB. Here we use MATLAB to verify that a parameter value is within a legitimate range. You can use MATLAB functions and expressions for typical physical modeling tasks, such as analyzing parameters as we've done here, and for performing preliminary computations. In the next section we define how this component behaves. We wanted to make sure that our spring had a nonlinear stiffness based on its deflection. Here is the Simscape language source code that defines that. There are some important aspects about the equations section. The equations that you see here are based on variables, their time derivatives, parameters, and other quantities. The key difference is that these are simultaneous equations. All of the equations that you see here will be evaluated simultaneously, not sequentially or one after the other, as you are used to in MATLAB. These equations can be DIEs and ODEs. Another key thing to remember is that assignment is not required. Again, because all of these equations are solved simultaneously, it isn't as if we are using this equation to find x, and then once we have that value, we use it to find f. All of these equations will be evaluated at the same time as they would be in a physical system. This is much different than input-output languages that you may be familiar with, such as MATLAB, Simulink, and pure C code. In this demonstration, we have seen how to use Simscape language to model a custom physical component.